Today I'm going to show you two of my favorite hip opening exercises using a stack of weight plates. Now you don't have to use a stack of weight plates, you can use anything that you can change the height of incrementally. So I'm just going to sit down on the plates first in the straddle position. Now obviously if you're less flexible you could just use a higher stack and if you're more flexible you could use a lower stack. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to lean forwards towards that good morning position, take my hands out in front, sit up or stand up into an open hip position, do the same thing in reverse, back down again. I'm then gonna bend one knee, go into a Cossack position, exactly the same thing. I'm gonna go up into a Cossack squat, or the top of a Cossack squat, open hip again, and then I'm gonna sit back down with that bent leg. I'm gonna swap over and do the same on the other side. So the bent leg is basically going for a squat position, and I'm taking the straight leg out as far as I can, trying to keep that foot flat on the floor. So you have a Cossack squat where we swap sides at the bottom and we have this no-handed straddle up. Now if you have very limited range of motion in your straddle and you struggle even by raising the stack up, the other option is to place the hands on the plate and you can push off it an open hip. So you can do the no-handed version which is harder and the hands on the plate if it's easier. And then pretty simple, we're just gonna to start to reduce the weights. Now the things are gonna change a little bit as we reduce the weights in terms of the technique we need to use, but the same principles apply. So sit onto the plate, have the legs nice and wide. As you get lower with this one, you're gonna to have to try and take the feet backwards a little bit. I'm gonna lean forwards and down more to get that counterbalance or more weight in front so I can go up slowly. Same thing on the way back down, counterbalance by leaning forwards, sit back up, bend the leg, come out of that Cossack squat into a standing position, back down, swap sides, same thing on this side, back up again, back down. Now normally these will be easier if you have more flexibility, but you do get people that are very flexible and have really good like uh, pancake, they can lay flat on the floor, but they don't have any strength or mobility through that range. So something like this, you might need to start up higher, even if you've got good flexibility, to slowly increase your range or increase the amount of strength you have throughout your range. So let's try this height now, so nice and low. And now I'm not getting up now, so I'm not getting up because I'm not getting enough shoulders forwards or enough lever arm over the front, so I'm gonna to have to go into a deeper split position or bring my feet back further. So now I can get a bit more purchase on the floor. I can lean further forwards. Now I can get up, open the hip at the top, which is challenging now, especially keeping the fat, f uh, the fat keeping the flat feet in that position. Back again. Cossack up, so bend the knee, lean forwards. Bend the other leg. This is good for me as well, because I haven't warmed up to do this video. I'm doing it as I go. Now obviously, I've got big plates and I've got uh, smaller plates, so when I take a 20K plate off, it's making a big difference. So let's see now, this is another 20. Now what I find helps as I get much lower with this, because it's getting quite challenging now, is to get on top of the split position first before lowering down onto the plate, instead of sitting on it and then taking the legs out. So there, then leaning forwards. Up, so it's getting hard for me to open that hip in that position. Cossack, I'm gonna to have to really try and get my butt closer, or my hamstring much closer to my calf, get on top of my heel. This foot is gonna come up, so I'm starting to use the hamstring a lot more now, I've had to elevate this foot up. Ideally, I keep my foot down for longer, but I'm having to really use that hamstring length to get up out of the Cossack and back down again. And I'm going through the middle, so I'm getting more weight this direction instead of that direction. You could obviously do repetitions when you get to a point that's hard for you. You could do repetitions there instead of decreasing the weight plate. Okay, now it's getting interesting. I'm down to a 10K plate. Yep, so I can get up there, but it's really hard without using the hands to hold in that position. And back down, see what the Cossack is like. 
If I use that hamstring, I'm okay. Okay, now the fun bit. Let's get rid of the plate completely. See if we can get these off the floor. So into my middle split position first. That's really hard for me to get up from there. If I warm that up a little bit more with some reps, I can get myself up, but today it's hard to get there. Let's see if I can do a Cossack off the floor. So a little bit of internal rotation, so bringing that knee in a touch, I can do it. Same on the other side. So you see, this is the internal rotation that's helping me. So bringing that knee in, and then I can get round and get up. Have a play with this one, remember, if you need to use your hands to get yourself up and down, even off the floor, you could use your hands. You could turn your hands inwards like this. It's easier to push up and get the shoulders forwards, get a grip on the floor with the feet and stand out of that. If it's easy for you to do that, then obviously try without the hands. Let me know if you have any questions and I'll speak to you next time. Thanks guys.